Okay, so this is just a quick video in Snap. So you can go here, let's look at it. I didn't get to look at it. Snap, download, I'm just going to add an insult. And you can see Snap download, it's developed by the European Space Agency and it's quite easy to download. Um, I would just download all the toolboxes and if you're on a Windows machine or a Mac machine or Unix, I would just use the main download or you could use mirrors or go Google what it means to use mirrors. Once you download it, there is a process that you have to download Snappy, which is a plugin. Okay, and I have big anxieties about Snappy because I had quite a bit of problems installing it. So I'm just closing it. Um, and so I'm scared to uninstall it and try again. So good luck. I hope it works. And so how you do it, you click on tools and go to plugins. And you would click here on available plugins and search for Snafu. And it doesn't come up for me because I've already got it installed, but you would see it there and you would click on install down at the bottom. And it says in this tutorial on the right hand side that I've got here that um, unfortunately you can't see it on my screen because I've done it already. You would click next and then you restart Snap. So you can see, let me zoom in here so you can see these pictures. Uh, it'll say it will be installed, you'll click next and it says restart your application so you'll click finish okay so once you've done that zoom out, sorry i won't forget any of the steps um it says that you've got to install some bundles so how you do that is you go to tools and manage external tools and then you click on snafu here and you click on this edit button here and you go down to bundles binaries and so now in my tutorials here it says um, select a suitable target folder in the tutorial that is C semicolon backslash GIS where Snafu will be installed and proceed with the download and install now. You'll then get a confirmation it's been installed. And so it sounds so simple, but I, from what I remember, this is where I really struggled. And it had something to do with possibly the target folder, or I remember, where was it? Something about my system variables. And so right now, I just want to put this up on the screen so you can see what I've used. And hopefully it will help you as well. So you can see um, the URL should say the same. The target folder that I've got is um, dollar sign user profile dot snafu dot org data. And if you go to system variables, this is where it defines what user profile is. So user profile is C forward slash for, uh, semicolon forward slash backslash GIS, which seems to be the same as them. So I don't know why I had so many problems, but I'm going to go here again. Um, and so literally just to explain, it's literally if you go to my C drive, C drive, GIS, this is where it's putting stuff. Um, and so, um, but please look at my other variable here, because I feel like I had to change stuff. And it just got completed. Like, I think it was that it wasn't finding the exe file. And so I don't know if this is what I had to define. So you can see on my screen, and I really hope it works for you. Um, okay, so my, I'm hoping mine's working. And the fact that it got downloaded and installed doesn't mean I have any updates. But anyway, and the fact that I've got this question mark. Ooh, I might have to come back and fix this. I dread it. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, let's just open the data we've just downloaded. So go open product and then navigate to where you saved it. So I saved it over here, over here, and then I've got an insert folder and yeah, I'll just finish And these are the zip files. These are the three files that got downloaded. And then I forgot to say in the previous video, you can see these are SLC files because we decided that we wanted single look complex um, files. You can see in that website, if we go back here, we could have chosen the satellite platform as S1A or S1B, but we left those blank. So it seems like they could only find, or well, the area is only covered by S1A. Um, it tells you here the date that it was collected, um, and I'm assuming that's the time as well. And then I'm not really sure what the rest of these are verbs mean so you can just do select all and click open and they should load here in your product explorer and if you've got your world view down here and i'm not even sure how you load it up where's this one i'm not even sure how you would put it if you couldn't see it 
you might be able to do it here. So I went here to view, tool windows, and I chose, you could look at having, where's my, okay, I'm not sure how you could all do, but it's actually shown me where one, two, and three, which is the date I've loaded, where they are, and this is in South Africa. So it just gives you confirmation you're in the right place. I was also reading that if you open them up, you can see metadata, vector data, time points, tick lists, and your bands. Your bands is what we're going to be looking at. And I feel, yeah, I'm not 100% sure whether we want V8 or VV. I feel, and what's the difference between IW1 and IW2 over here. But I and Q are your complex, your real and imaginary, I think. Um, aspects and then the intensity is the things we can look at so hopefully by the next video um, I will be able to explain what these are slightly more and which ones we actually need I know some other websites where you download info you can actually choose so that you're not downloading all of these which is obviously reduce the data you're downloading also under metadata if you go to abstracted metadata and double click on it another thing that I was reading is important to know if I can find it is your range spacing and your azimuth spacing. So you can see 2.3 and 4.0. From what I understand, this is in meters. So you might say to me, well, what is range and what is azimuth? And from what I can see, where did I see it here? This is our satellite and this is on the ground. Range is in this direction. You can see this arrow pointing to the right. Azimuth is in the direction that the satellite is flying. And so I assume that that is then I don't really know if it's that swath that we're seeing, which doesn't super make sense if it's 2.3, but it doesn't seem to look right. But I will also have to find out more about that or put it in the comments if you know what the heck it is. Um, but yeah, so again, I'm just putting these videos down so that what I learn along the way, I don't forget um, if I ever have to explain it to somebody else.